Building a website is way harder than they made it seem. Now, I jumped in head first. I jumped in head first, man. They was like, what it do, what it do? Man, I'm gonna start it off like this. The news about uh, Crazy Bone, I'm not liking it. And I always hate how I start off with prayers, prayers, because that that's that's uh <laughs> that's never good. But uh, like they say in prayers, I, I'm I'm hopeful that uh, Crazy Bone will pull through. I know he will. You know, um, he he my favorite out the group. You know what I'm saying? He he got to pull through. Um, but yeah, right now I got a lot of, a, a lot of projects in play. I'm working on new music. Um, man, one thing that I noticed and one thing that I dislike when your VSTs and your files get all messed up, it sucks because you have to rearrange everything. It makes you not want to make music. It, it just it, it make it feel like everything is out of whack. So I'm working on like getting some hardware to uh to basically to fix that because it's, it's getting real annoying now. At first it was like okay a VST messed up. I just go reinstall it, re-download it, and you know set it back up. But now it's it's becoming. It's just becoming a big problem because I probably have over a hundred VSTs on my computer, and that that means that all my projects that I use those VSTs in they're gonna be messed up. So right now I'm in the phase of reinstalling half of my VSTs because more than half of my beats are messed up right now, and I'm I'm not happy about it, man. A lot of those beats they were ready to go, like. It was ready to be sold. And I can't do nothing because I have to put the files. I have to set it all back up. So I was like, oh, okay. Now I got to backtrack. Take a step back from everything and and just clean up my computer. I let my whole computer. Damn, this damn bumps are throwing me around. But I let my whole computer go out of whack, which was not the best idea. I let my computer get out of whack and out of control and I was not on top of uh, my management, which means uh, everything is a mess. I let my files, I let my files get out of control and now I'm trying to track files down that got lost. I'm <laughs> I'm a mess right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a mess. But I know me and I know I'm gonna get it right. So definitely I'm, I'm about to get my stuff together because it is now getting on my nerves because it's, it's messing up my inspiration like the minute i get inspired and i want to make a beat i'm like all right man i'm about to make a beat and i get on there and then i remember oh damn i kept putting it off that half of my vsts are messed up and i didn't i didn't fix it so yeah i'm still stuck with the problem i keep kind of putting it off i'm like all right i'll do it next week i'll do it tomorrow and it's biting me in the ass it's biting me in the ass, and I really wish that I would have went ahead and took care of it. Because right now, I'm I'm pretty annoyed that I put something so simple off. When it would have took me, a, it would have took me about three hours. I, I mean, yeah, that's a chunk of time, but I could have got it done, and I could have had it all out the way. Really, this all started from me moving my whole setup around my house. I took it from the living room, then I put it first. It was in my room. Then I took it out my room and put it in the living room. Then I went in the living room, so I put it back in the room. And now I'm dealing with the problem of the hard drive. Uh, the hard drive letter changed, which means like every file that was connected to that hard drive is gonna be looking for hard drive J. And now the hard drive letter changed to, I think, F. So it's like, uh, okay, it's a total miscommunication. The computer is looking for hard drive J. It got renamed to hard drive F. So now I'm like, okay, yeah, I got a problem. Because all of my VSTs, they not working. So uh, I'm trying to remedy that with a hardware, basically. A piece of hardware that got all the sounds of those... V oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Oh, man, they, they need to not park right here, then. Oh, wait, they need to not park right here.
Go ahead, girl. You good. Yeah, I guess I was blocking somebody in. I feel like she shouldn't have parked where she parked because it's, 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 yeah, she don't even have a handicap sticker. She parked in a handicap and she don't have a handicap sticker. I don't know why she did that. Man, hold on. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Tell me she didn't just take my damn spot. If she just took my spot, I'm finna be pissed. Cause I, I let her out being nice. Go ahead, you turn out the way so I could get where I was trying to get to. I hate when people do that. You know, I, I'm I'm not a mean guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw that that you were trying to get out and I blocked you in, but like I need you, you know, get on out the way now. You're in my way. But um. So right about now, um, I'm I'm mad because I didn't do it. You know, I didn't reinstall the VSTs that I needed. And a lot of VSTs, actually, I tried to install them, but they're not installing correctly. They bugging out. I'm, 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 I'm getting annoyed. I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting annoyed, but I'm gonna go back in and try to delete the halfway install that I did, which is taking up some space. It ain't like I'm really hurting for space. I got a two terabyte hard drive in my computer. I was only a little over half. I'm hoping that I didn't just uh, max out because I haven't checked my space. So uh, when I get back to the house, I'm gonna check my space and make sure I didn't just flood my hard drive with a bunch of unused stuff. I'm gonna be pissed because I bought a 12 terabyte secondary hard drive for all my install files, especially these big ass VSTs that's 300 gigabytes. I'm hoping that I did that right. Yeah, definitely. I'm up here at my, my son's school picking him up. So when I get back to the house, I'm definitely gonna get on my computer and fix this. I'm tired of putting it off. It's gonna be a pain in my ass. But I know I got to do it. I don't give a damn if it take three, four hours. I have to do it. I don't want to do it because it's just, it's a little bit irritating having to keep doing this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even have to do this if I didn't unplug the hard drive. If I would have left the hard drive plugged up, I wouldn't have to, actually, I think it still would have switched the letter of the hard drive moving it because it was in the living room and I, yeah, I think so. I know what I, I know I messed up even doing that whole transaction. I should have never moved it, but you got to do what you got to do, man. That's straight up. You got to do what you got to do. You can't just, you know, keep putting it off. You keep putting it off. You're going to have to do it later. You, later, you're going to have to deal with it. If you put it off, whatever you told yourself you got to do or whatever's bugging you, if you put it off for later, it's going to be there later. Just because you put it off for later don't mean that it's going to go away. That's just like having to fight that bully at the school. Just because he said it was at the school don't mean you ain't going to have to do it. I didn't have to face that situation a ton of times, you know, and, and that, that's life. If you put it off for later, it's going to be there later. It's like, it's like leftovers. <laughs> if you put it off for later, it's going to be there later. If somebody don't eat it. I don't like that. No. But um, I'm in this line, man, and I'm ready to get up out of here. Good God, I got some messages on my phone. People blowing me up. Um, So, what's new with me? Um, I'm working on... Damn, man, I'm, I'm like, I'm all over the place right now. I'm working on two websites. I got two new websites coming out. Um, I'm not going to say the names or nothing because I'm having some issues with my domain names. The transfers are a little slow. I done had these domain names for a while, but the transfers are a little slow. So, yeah, I'm definitely having a little, you know, trouble with the domain names. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I'm having a little trouble with domain names. I'm hoping I don't lose the domain name to, to one of my sites because I'm not going to lie. This website stuff is not easy. It's not easy. When you get in that system and they start saying, go to the C panel, this, this setting, uh, switch point this uh, uh, address to this address. Man, I ain't going to lie. I got in there and I wanted to cry, man, because it was like, I just wanted it to be done. But they were showing me the steps that I needed to do to get my website up. So I was like, all right, I was the Determined. Show sure enough. Damn, my mouth is watering, bro. What the hell? But show sure enough, I kept messing around and I figured it out. Mm. I need some gum. I know this damn AC is going to be loud on y'all, but my apologies. So, when building a website, you're going to be real frustrated at times, but you got to keep pushing. If you give up, you're going to be... 
damn, let's see. Got me looking black, man. Yeah, there. Open the sunroof. If I, was, if, if I had my drop top still, I would have dropped my top. That would have looked kind of weird, though, because it was hella bright. But, yeah. Okay. Now, building a website is one of the hardest things that I ever had to do. Period. One of the hardest things I ever had to do. It's not as simple as some people make it sound. They make it sound like, okay, you get in there. They give you these small ass little steps like one, two, and three. And you're like, you know what? That seems simple. I want to do it. And then when you get in the process, I don't want to do it no more. Hell no. I don't want to do this. I got to point the dot com over here. I got to go to my host server. And you like, if you don't know how to really do website panels and if you don't know nothing about building a website when you first get into this you're gonna be mad as hell because you're gonna feel like you got played <laughs> i felt like i got played man i was up in that i was up in that thing like i was just looking at everything i was like uh okay i put what where and i gotta make sure that that is pointing to where so i gotta take this code and i gotta put that code in there okay then what i do after that i promise you Building a website is way harder than they made it seem. Now, I jumped in head first. I jumped in head first, man. They was like, uh, the person I bought uh, I bought my server with, the, the hosting. The, yeah, the host, the company that's hosting my website. When I got up in there, they was like, okay, now you do X, Y, Z, and your website going to be online. Then, when it's online, you got to go back in and add all the stuff that you're trying to do. I'm like, okay cool that don't sound too bad so i'll go ahead I, I pay the people for the service i pay for the website i'm like cool payment is made tell me why xyz turned in to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ah man I, I clicked into that one two three step that third step opened up to a two hour process i'm still in the middle of 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 doing a transfer on some files they told me to add to the site and upload it here and there i'm still doing a damn transfer they say it might take 24 to 48 hours for my for my damn uh domain name to even be connected to the site i'm like okay that don't sound too bad then i go back on there and say that i might have to do it manually so i'm like why would i have to do it manually if y'all say my my host name is connected to the website already but it's not all the way connected. That's the part I'm still trying to get into. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck right there. They say my, my, my domain name is connected to the website, but it ain't connected to the website. So I'm like, okay, uh, this ain't making, this making a little sense, but not enough for me. Y'all gotta understand, I ain't did this before, but I'm gonna tell you the satisfaction that you get out of it. Now, when I got in there and I actually tweaked around, clicked around and stuff, and it did what I wanted it to do, the satisfaction that I got, I ain't gonna lie. I went to sleep on on cloud night. I, thought, I went to sleep feeling good. I went to sleep feeling real good, man. It was just a feeling that you don't get from a lot of stuff that you complete. When I, I And I'm not even nowhere near done. But when I got in there and the website started coming together and I, I, I got to learning a little bit, I'm like, okay, what if I want to do this? <clears throat> I got to click it around and somehow I figured it out. I figured out what I wanted to do. I'm like, oh, so that's how you do X, Y, Z. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I started clicking around, man, and it started coming together. Moral of this story is if you want to do something, just just do it. The worst you can do is learn. I mean, I said the worst you could do. The only thing that's going to happen out of the situation is you're going to learn. You can't fail. I don't care if you don't even finish it. If you buy the website and don't finish it, you're not going to you're not going to lose. You win, bro. Cuz even if you learn three things out of the 20 things they told you to do, you still gain something out of that whole situation, you know? You still gain something out of it. That's why I was like, okay, at first, at first I was thinking about giving up. I ain't gonna lie. I was thinking about giving up. I got in there and I started drowning, man. The information started coming at me and I started drowning. I was like, I, ah, my head, I can't breathe. <laughs> can't breathe. And then I just stepped back, man, and I started breathing. I slowed my breathing. Let me take the damn seatbelt off. I'm choking my ass. Damn, damn Lancer already choking me. But I just started breathing. You know what I'm saying? And I just calmed myself down and I was like, okay, look, you wanted this, sir. <laughs> you wanted this. Now, just deal with it, man. Just take your time. A lot of time we buy stuff and if it don't turn out right like we want it, right at that moment, or if it don't sound like we wanted it to sound or, or be what we wanted it to be at that second, 
We want our money back. I did when I, I the first thought on my mind before I even open stuff that I buy off eBay or any website, Amazon. I'm like, look, now I'm, I'm glad they got a return policy because if I don't like this, it's going right back. That's kind of where you go wrong. It's thinking of already giving up before you before you see what it's about. A lot of us do that. We already got one foot out the damn door before we even check out what it is. Okay, I don't know. Good God, man, slow down. Damn, calm down, I'm making a video, please. But we already got a foot out the door, you know? And that's, I feel like, one of the bad things about not being sure of what you're doing. Like, when you do something, just be sure. You know that you you want that and take your time with it because if you don't take time with it it ain't gonna work off the jump it's not gonna work i'm telling you i wanted this website situation so bad i wanted it so bad but i didn't want to pay a website a website builder i did not want to pay a builder i was like look now what if i pay for this website and just do it myself because i want to learn a little bit you know not like crazy amount but I want to learn a little bit about what this is I'm interested in. I want to learn. So I go ahead and I just start messing around. And sure enough, I get what I wanted out of the situation. And I'm, I'm getting more than what I expected out of it because I'm sitting up there learning more. I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm clicking around. I'm understanding it. I'm getting the full understanding of of like you know how a website is brought together i'm getting a full understanding i'm like okay and that right there just like it really gave me what i wanted i wanted to feel good about you know being more present in the whole situation i just wanted to feel like i put more work in than i normally would because a lot of people they, they i want a website they're gonna run they're gonna pay a builder you know that because that ain't their cup of tea but with me my cup of tea is getting to understand stuff because if i if i i don't want to keep buying you know something and i don't understand what it is i just i like to finish product sometimes people just want to know what goes on behind the scenes that's the point i was trying to get to i don't know why it took me so damn long but i just wanted to see a little bit more on what goes on behind the scene of you know putting a website together i wanted to see the ins and the outs and i feel like right now let me move real quick because this car is about to move but I feel like I got what I wanted, which was, you know, an understanding of, damn, man, they're going to move me all the way to the front. But I feel like I got what I wanted out of the situation, which was just a better understanding. Good God, man. I'm going to be all the way in the damn front. Damn, man. I don't want to be all the way in the front. Damn, I love this tree. This tree got some shade on it, man. They trying to move me. But I really just wanted the understanding of how to put together a good website. And I definitely feel like I got the understanding and I'm getting the fulfillment from actually doing it myself. My thing is rushing. Right when I start a project, I rush it. And I'm like, okay, I got to get to the finish line. I feel like that's one of my mistakes with everything I do. Rushing. You know, I'm trying my hardest to not do that because that's that's never good in any project. Rushing. You thinking of the finish line and the race ain't even started yet. I'm already thinking of crossing the finish line. I'm like, okay, I just gotta pass that. That's all I care about, you know, but really it's the whole journey, being able to stay focused through the whole thing. What are you getting out of it? Are you getting a little bit of fulfillment or you just wanna finish? You know, I, I'm I'm not trying to be focused on just completing the website i really do want to learn a lot more about like you know the back end more because the type of website i'm building is the field i'm very interested in i'm like look i want to i see the website as a just a, a way to to get into the stuff that i want to learn it inspired me to want to learn about you know the back end of the website every website you go to it got like you know it got a whole back end system that you ain't even you know thought about it got a whole back end on it like okay i spent so many years on myspace i spent a lot of years on myspace well the time that it was alive i was on myspace the day it launched yeah i was on myspace the day it launched i was probably one of the first people on myspace i think i was on there before soldier boy was but every time I logged in, I would think, damn, I wonder who, who on a, the back end of this. I wonder, like, how does this all come together? You know, what's running it? What's, like, where do my information go? 
Like, you know, I want that's the stuff I was more interested in. Like, if I was the owner of MySpace, how would I run it? That's the kind of stuff that I'm interested in. I want to know the ins and the outs of stuff. I just want to get a better, get a better understanding of stuff that I'm interested in. Because if you interested in something, shouldn't you, you know, learn about it? You, you know, I feel like if you interested in something, you should go learn about it. Don't just take it for what it is. Hell, get a full understanding of what it is. You know, try to check in a little bit deeper. Because a lot of people, they'll just take it as what it is like it's like going to buy a, a, a ice cream cone for two to three dollars when you could go as me I, I don't think of just let me go buy an ice cream when I go buy an ice cream a soft serve cone I'm like damn I wonder how much a soft serve ice cream machine costs so I get to looking it up, you know what I'm saying, and figure out. I'm like, hold on now. There's a bit of coin involved in this. <laughs> I think it's some room for, imp- room for improvement. <clears throat> Damn, throat been messing with me for a couple couple days now. But everything I'm interested in, whether it's food, uh, 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 electronics, every single thing I'm interested in, I always try to look into it like deep as I can, deep as I can understand. I always do. I don't know what that is. I think that that's the curiosity in me. You know, I'm always looking to try to get a full understanding of stuff that I like. Because I know a lot of people ain't like that. A lot of people just want stuff for what it is. They want a boombox for a boombox. I'm the one that's trying to figure out how to build the boombox. I'm like, how do they put this together? Um, you know, like, how many watts is the speakers? <laughs> that's the stuff I'm thinking about. I don't think a lot of people think like that, man. I- I'm grateful that God made me the way I am. <laughs> I've always been a curious person, man. Even as a kid, I just wanted to learn stuff. I would sit and watch the, the constructors put this later the, lay the concrete. I watched them constructors. The, the contractors? Yeah, contractors. Construction workers. I'm tripping today. My, my vitamins ain't kicked in. But I'm watching the construction workers lay concrete and lay the foundation for a house they building. And I was just so amazed at all the little things that you got to do to even make the foundation. I'm like, man, it take them like, I've been standing out here every day for three weeks. They barely got the concrete laid, you know? And I'm just like looking and watching them measure and watching that the the, uh, the dude pull the string out and he measuring with the string or whatever the hell. I'm watching every little thing they doing and it just gave me a deeper look into what a house is or what a building is. I'm like, damn, so, you know, this is how you lay the foundation. And I'm, I'm just like, I'm six and seven years old with these kind of questions. My son is just like me. He, he want to learn just everything that he like. He want to learn about it all. You know, how you make video games, how do you build computers, just everything. He always ask me questions and I, I love that part of them you know I'm, I'm not gonna ever shoot that down because that that's how i am that's me um but damn this video 27 minutes long i'm fired nah i, I think when you're making long videos man you just use them ai programs that'll cut it down to size and cut some of the best parts up and it, it i think it'll take some of the best parts and just give you you know what i'm saying what you want <laughs> you go through it and you look at all the versions of what you just did you know, because you need a long video for them to be able to go through and analyze and be like, okay, this this part right here is cool. And them AI things be spot on, too. They be spot on. So don't be too afraid to try the AI stuff, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's a new it's a new day. I've definitely been surprised by the AI stuff that they got coming out. I've been surprised. You got to give it a try. A lot of people are like, I ain't messing with that AI. Uh-uh. They ain't gonna steal my soul. Steal your soul. Man, it's not made for that. It's just a damn computer program help to, to help us think better and to help us be more intuitive and, and creative. It's made for us, not against us. Everybody is saying, oh, AI is bad. It's the worst thing ever. It's not, damn it. That AI stuff is made for people that 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 they got a lot of ideas. They just don't know how they don't know how to access it. They don't know how to get to that idea. It's like, look, if I had somebody that was on my level to basically fire questions and, and, and ask questions back and forth, if I had somebody on my level, man, come on now. I can you conversate. The internet holds damn near every everything. All the details about life and the Bible and the internet has everything. I don't give a damn what nobody said. If it's information, the internet has it. There's nothing that ain't on the internet today, man. The internet has all the question answers, all all of it. That's why it's 
you know, a lot of people are against the AI stuff because it's answering a lot of questions and it's actually filling a lot of slots. I'm sad that a lot of people are losing their jobs, but damn, that AI shit is creative. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That AI stuff is creative, man. I got to messing around with a few AI programs not too long ago, a couple days ago, and it just surprised the hell out of me how creative it is. I'm like, this, this making me think. It's inspiring. I don't care what nobody say. They go, ah, AI is bad. It's costing people their jobs. It's, it, look, it's always going to be something that makes somebody else's life harder or different, but they're going to have to pivot. They're going to have to pivot, shift. They're going to have to adjust. That's the way life is. Things are going to move and you're going to have to adjust. It's crazy how one little thing can happen and everybody get bent out of shape about it. It's, it's not fair that so many people get bent out of shape over it. You got to pivot. You're going to have to. That's what it's, That's what life is about. If life never changed and, 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 and upgraded and just, you know, moved around, we all be stagnant. We all be in the same place. If our rent never went up, you think we'll want better jobs? <laughs> If the rent never go up, you're not gonna want better jobs. You're not gonna want nothing. You know, if it was easy to get new cars, you think people would be out here trying? No, I don't have to try. I can go get me a, 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 a Maybach for, for uh, 1200 down, $200 a month. Ain't nobody gonna enjoy a Maybach as a Maybach when everybody on your damn block got them. They Toyotas now, cause everybody got them. It's always gotta be something that somebody else can't get, that somebody else can. So other people, pivot they make changes to get that they make goals to go get that item that's the way life is i'm tired of people making it to where it's like ah oh, this is not fair look in life you have to pivot you have to make changes you gotta strive you gotta try and i'm starting to understand that as as you know as an adult <laughs> you gotta you gotta try you gotta have goals man if you don't have goals and you don't have nothing to live for you're not going to be able to be contributive to, to nothing that goes on in this world. You're not going to contribute. You ain't going to want to do nothing. That's the way it is, man. Like, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop this video up and see if I could get me a video posted today. Because I haven't posted any videos in a while. It's been, it's been a while. So, yeah. My child is about to come out right about now. And, uh, yeah, that's my video, man. I'm just hoping these people don't mess with me and piss me off. Because usually they get to barking at me and they get to yelling at me. Uh, I'm not with that. <laughs> Somebody come at me stupid. I'm telling you, I'm not going to be the nicest. <laughs> All right, man. I'm up out of here. It's your boy, Dominique. Your man, Dominique. Because I ain't no damn boy. I'd slap somebody. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs>